The LGBTQ community is asking Governor Bill Lee to veto a bill passed in the House yesterday. Now, the bill says the Department of Children's Services cannot require foster or adoptive parents to support a policy on sexual orientation or gender identity they disagree with. News 2's Nikki McGee has more on the fears some now have for children in the foster care system. Equality Project is protesting a new piece of legislation, saying DCS cannot make foster or adoptive parents support a gender identity or sexual orientation they disagree with. I have worked in the foster care system and seen firsthand trans kids get rejected from homes because of their identity. This is just going to perpetrate that issue even further. But the bill's sponsor, Mary Littleton, says the state needs more adoptive and foster parents. Tennessee should not make the mistake that other states have by excluding otherwise qualified parents from adopting or fostering simply because their religious and moral beliefs. This is to try and make everything make the right place for the child. When pressed on her bill Monday, two lawmakers called out Littleton on repeatedly reciting and rereading the legislation in response to their questions. I appreciate your preparation and script, um, but these questions, they're going to be they're relatively easy. Nowhere in the script that they prepared for you did you answer the question to say, how can a child be protected and feel validated and flourish in an environment where they may be put in a home that says that because they are LGBTQ+, plus, that they are wrong? But Littleton says the intent is the exact opposite. If those parents have religious and moral, moral beliefs against it and, and do not want the child in their home, this prevents that. And maybe the child wouldn't want to go in that home. The bill says DCS can consider parents' moral and religious beliefs when placing a child. However, at the end of the day, they should place based on the child's best interest. These kids are still going to be placed in these homes. And what they're saying is that the parent doesn't have to accept their identity. And what we know is statistically, these kids are more likely to end up running away from these homes to end up back in group homes. This is a bill that is a solution in search of a problem. This is a bill about legislating hate. In Nashville, Nikki McGee, News 2. The governor now has 10 days excluding Sunday to sign this bill. If he doesn't, it will still pass unless he vetoes it.